Hello friends, welcome to the service now word and today we'll discuss how to set any field unique in service now. Sometimes you will get a requirement like that like you having one table in that like uh, you need to make one of the field or two of the fields unique. So how we'll do that today. So for implementing this, we'll take one use case today and use case is create a new table. Their name will be employee details and they having the below fields that employee id name department and designation and we have to make employee id field as a unique and if employee id already existed then we it will throw one error message like employee id already existed so how we'll do that so let's go to the instance and try to implement it so for that let's go to the tables and under system definitions click on tables and we have to create a new table and here we have to select the uh, not so we have to write the table label so we'll write employee detail and once we click outside you'll see that name will be auto populated see now here we have to create a uh, columns so we'll create first column that will be employee ID right yes and their type will be integer and second column will be name their type will be string and third will be the department that will be also a string only and the fourth one is designation that will be also string yes then you have to save it Yes, so now you see that like a table got created with the uh, with these fields, right? And we have to make the employee ID field as a unique. So we have to open this employee ID. And here we are seeing that no field is there. So there are one out of the box field already available that is unique. So we have to just uh, populate in our, uh, not probably we have to show in our form. So how we do is just click on configure and go to the form layout. And from a label side, you see this unique, drag it to the right side, select it, yes, and drag it after max length, yes and then save it yes so now you will see that unique field is showing here so we, i want so we have to make the employee id field this unique so we have just check it out check this field and we'll just click on update now let's go to the employee table and try to create Two records with same employee id and we'll see that whether we are able to create it or not so we'll click on new uh, let's say the first name will be the john their designation as consultant their department is it and their employee ID, let's say 100. Okay, and we'll submit it. See, one record is come created with the employee ID 100. We'll create one new record with the same employee ID. So we have made this field uh, unique, so it will it won't be allowed, right? Let's see. So this time I'll make put the name Thomas 
and designation let's say he is senior consultant right consultant the department the department will be sales department or um, make it it only right and their employee id also c will make the 100 let's see are we able to create it or not see it's throwing error unique key violation detected by database why a duplicate entry for 100 why because employee id is 100 right so this is the way to make a field unique but there is one catch is there in to using this out of the box let's say i'll show you what is the catch uh, let's go to the table first and uh, take the just disable the uniqueness of the field of empld right wait let me select I just want to show you like uh, what is the limitation of this. So if you see MP MPID, there is a unique field, so I'll just make it false. And now to update the table and let's try to create one again one more new record that is also consultant. And the department also it and this time i am giving the employee id 100 it will take right see the two user having same employee id why because we have disabled the uniqueness of this field and let's say we having some records and if we are going to the table uh, let's say let's go to the table again and try to make the field unique using the out of the box okay then what will happen you'll see this you to open the employee id and if i check the unique field and try to see just observe it see it's not allowing right see again see it's not aligned why because the already there are two records in pre present in employee table who's having same employee id so uniqueness um, unique uh, we can't check the unique field if we want to check this unique field we have to delete that record without that we can't do so let's say same thing you are got in the production right and you are not afford to delete the existing record so in that case what you will do in that in that case we have one alternative way we will write one uh, before insert business rule so let's see just select business rule my intention is to just show you the what is the limitation of making the unique unique field from the out of the box so this is the alternate way if it's like already duplicate records present in the table and you don't want to delete it so you can't just check 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 that field unique and it will become unique it will throw their error because already duplicates records are there so in that and we want to make we want to check the uniqueness for the new insert record so in that case we'll write one before insert business rule so we'll just click on new right and let the page load yes now it's loaded just give the name like uh, mpid validation right validation check yes select the table that is employee table Where is yes employee detail table to check the advanced 
before I will just check insert however in our current scenario there is no filter condition is there so we are not giving any filter condition and let's go to the advanced so what we will write in the advanced let's do one thing first open the table because we need table name as well right and the field name So here, type vagr press tab and select the table name. So table name is u underscore employee underscore detail, right? So let me copy the table name from URL. Copy it. Glide it, right? Then in the name, we have to put the field name. Just check what is the field name. Field name is u underscore emp underscore id, right? Just write emp underscore id, and here we'll write current dot u underscore emp underscore id, and this means if record is found, then what will happen? it will throw the error like gs dot add error message like employee id already existed and write gs dot set no 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 it's like current dot set about action perfect so what we have written we have just glide the employee table and we have to check the current employee id with the existing employee id and if record is found it will throw the one error message that employee id already existed and we have to abort the action let's save it yes let's click on new and create a new record let's say already two record already existed and we will again create a new record this time give the name david and designation also let's say program manager and i am giving the department they are also it and their employee id also will try to give the 100 and let's see see it's throwing error employee id already existed and invalid insert because employee id always already existed and we are seeing that already if you see already two duplicate two duplicate records are there so it will whatever the business rule we have written that will applies on the new record which are insert in our employee detail table but it will not imply in the existing record but if you want to apply on the existing record as well then you have to go with the out of the box approach there you have to just which, whichever field you want to make it enable there you have to open that field and there you have to check the unique field so i hope you got the logic if you're not able to understand please see the video once again and if you have any feedback please write in the comment box thank you